September is recognized as National Preparedness Month, a time for Texans to take stock, replenish, and review their emergency plan in case of a natural disaster. After the disruption of the electrical grid during February's winter storm, Better Business Bureau is encouraging Texas residents to take precaution. Katie Galan with the Better Business Bureau joins us now with some recommendations when it comes to our emergency plan. Katie, thank you for joining us. Now, you say Texans should be taking disaster preparation seriously. Hello, thank you for having me. So September is National Preparedness Month. So for us here in Texas, this is really important because as we saw in February um, with our winter storm and the disruption of our power grid, um, it's really, really important that we take all of the necessary steps to make sure that we're prepared for any type of disaster. Um, so something worth mentioning is um, there was a report that was sponsored by NASA that ranked Texas the first in the country in the variety and frequency of natural disasters. And what should Texans pay close attention to? Well, first things first, of course, and that's to make a plan. So you do really need to discuss with your family what your plan is going to be. Um, should any of these disasters occur? Um, what, how, are you, how are we going to communicate with each other um, in case we all lose electricity, in case phone towers are down? What's going to be our communication plan? So, um, you know, where are you going to go? What's the route you're going to take? What town are you going to go to? These are all things that you definitely need to be thinking about ahead of time. Um, and the next thing, of course, is to build a kit. You know, we need to make sure that there's food to eat. So you need to have at least three days supply of food and water um, for every member in your family. So that also is going to include your pets. So make sure that your pets have their food and water and any kind of medication that they need. Um, and also keep in mind that a lot of medication needs to be kept cold. So think about a plan for that. How are you going to keep medications cold? All right. All good tips to follow. Katie, thank you. And if you have any questions or concerns about a scam, contractor, business, or product, log on to BBB.org for more. Stay with us. More news at noon right after this.